Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds. Let's do an alcohol wash. We're going to show you the, the proper way to do it. It's really not that hard, but there are a couple of things that you need to do in order to make sure you get a good, accurate count. And these mite washes can really help you know what's going on with your bees. And you might have 10 colonies, and 7 or 8 of them are perfectly great from the treatments that you did prior. But how do you know that? What, and then the two that maybe robbed out a tree that had some mite problems, and this colony right here has some mite problems. I'm seeing them on the bees. If you're seeing lots of mites on your bees, it's way past the time to be treating. But this colony, we've not treated it like the rest of our colonies because I'm really wanting to do the ProVap 110 or the oxalic acid vapor. You don't have to have a ProVap 110 in order to be able to uh, do this. You can get one of those wand vaporizers or whatever. Now, the foggers, they're pretty unproven and untested, and I don't know if they work. Some people say that they do, but there's some people that have said a lot of things over the years that really went the way of the dodo. So, I don't know. I haven't tried them out myself. you got to test them out, make sure that the... Uh, that they're actually dropping the mites and that's where these alcohol washes come in handy so you actually know if it worked. So let's see what the mite count is on this. We've already treated this county um, with a few shots of oxalic acid vapor this year but I'm seeing like four or five mites on bees inspecting this colony. And if you're seeing mites like that on bees you have an issue and th these bees are not seeing another spring if we don't start doing something. But they have an okay population the brood pattern's not near as good as it should be, but for some of us it's like, okay, the pattern's not that great, but maybe it's just because we're in the middle of the dearth, or maybe the queen's getting a little bit older so she's not doing quite as good. Or maybe it's the mites, and see, that's why there's a lot of variables there that can cause brood patterns to not look quite as uniform, and if, if it's the mites, you need to know because these things grow rapidly, extremely rapidly. So the first thing we want to do on our mite wash is make sure that we don't have the queen in here. However, I um, removed the queen from this hive. It has no queen. We are going to be introducing a new queen into this hive because she's she was older and obviously she has absolutely no resistance to Varora. They were kind of a neat bee, but they just weren't that thrifty. So we need to grab a frame that has plenty of larvae on it. Now these frames have been sitting out here for about 10 minutes, so... I'm going to give the bees a decent bit of smoke because I don't really feel like getting stung today. It's too early in the morning for that. Alright, we want to find some larvae. I'm pretty sure one of these had a good bit. I mean, see, this is mostly cat brood over on that frame. There's a decent bit of emerging brood over here. Removing the queen is also going to give us a little bit more of an effective oxalic acid vapor get out of me treatment window because there's going to be more um, varora mites exposed because the queen's not laying right now all right this is perfect it's just all larvae and we're going to well it's not all larvae but there's plenty of larvae on here that have to be fed by nurse bees we want nurse bees because varora mites want to be in one of two places they want to either be Primarily, they want to be in the brood where they can feed on those larvae and then reproduce and make offspring. Or they want to be on the underside of a nurse bee because they have all the fats and proteins in their fat body organ under their abdomen. So if you're seeing mites on top of bees in mass, that's a big problem. Some research has shown that about 80-90% of the mites are down here. And you can't hardly see them sticking out of the segments. Take these bees out of here. You can see there's there's larvae down in there. But also, you can see where they're raising some, trying to raise some queens here. We're, since I, I re-cleaned a couple days ago, or killed the queen a couple days ago, they've been trying to make emergency cells. So before I introduce this new queen, we're going to have to go through every frame and, and uh, get rid of those cells. All right. Now, another thing that we're going to need to do is get any forager bees out of here. The forager bees have a very low percentage of mites on them. So a little smoke will help the ones that fly. Head on out of there, tap the box. 
That way we get primarily nurse bees in our watch and get the most accurate reading of what the mite levels are in this colony. All right, now, alcohol washes typically are done with a half cup measurement. And then you got your alcohol wash dealio over here. All right, so we got half a cup. It's good to get it closed up, shake it a little bit. I get the higher concentrated alcohol. It kills the bees very quickly. Don't like doing it, but it's gonna give us an accurate representation of where this hive stands. Let's come on over here. So you wanna shake this up for about 30 seconds. I like to do it in a clockwise rotation. Seems to work better the way that the holes are designed now. Um, we get ours, um, these things right here. Holy, holy smokes. Holy smokes. I've never had an alcohol wash look like this before. If you, if you need one of these, we get ours off of Amazon. I'll leave it below. Um, I really like these because they're very uniform. Now, you can make your own. I'm going to try to do that in some videos in the future. Where you can just make your own for some cups and stuff like that. But it's a little bit harder to make them, and they, they don't last very long. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I don't, I'm embarrassed to show this. It's amazing this colony is still alive. And we've treated it multiple times. For whatever reason, this hive is packed with Varora. Look at those mites in that colony. Look at those. How is this colony still alive? This right here is a mite bomb waiting to happen. Can you see that, Laurel? If this colony collapses, if this colony collapses, my neighbor or the rest of my bees that rob this colony out are going to become reinfested big time. How many is that? And there's got to be like 40 or 50 in there. I've never had an alcohol wash above a 16. Unbelievable. And this is just how high that your mite levels can get. And this colony just never has grown throughout this year. That's a problem, though, when you treat some colonies just like the rest of them. If you treat them all uniformly and you don't do your wash, you might have some like this because that colony got treated just like everything else in the yard up to when we did our summer treatments. And then we didn't treat it as, as aggressively. But still, this is unbelievable. This colony is not going to build up. We definitely don't want to be making nukes with this thing and spreading them around. Um, Unbelievable. So we are going to be doing, this is going to be fun, uh, even though I don't like all these mites, we are going to be doing an oxalic acid vapor shot five times in a 21 day period. And I'm going to try to get a picture of every time that we do it. We'll, we'll stick down the Facebook group. We'll leave the link below if you'd like to join that group. And, um, and then we'll also, you know, have the video um, showing all the stuff. But we're going to come back here in about three weeks. And then we're going to do another alcohol wash and see what this looks like. Unbelievable. That's how you do an alcohol wash right there. And that's why you do an alcohol wash. I've never had one that high. Kind of embarrassing. But this is a good r r illustration of why you need to think about using one of these things. Because, again, you could have ten colonies. One of them, just one, be like that. You know, it has been treated. And then if it collapses... And it has, I mean, it, it's, it can usually have 10, 15,000 mites in there. I'm going to try to do the math on this and see what kind of what I can come up with with like a rough draft um, of the mite to bee ratio. It'll be kind of rough, but we'll get a good idea of how many thousands of mites are in there. You just reinfest your whole yard. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions on alcohol wants, mites, nuking, um, anything else, um, leave it below.